So I'm at my doctor's office recently, and I had to really kind of straighten her out just a little bit. And I, here's what I told her. I said, here's what I come in for. Once a year, I come in here, and your job is to look me over and then look me in the eye and say, Mr. Davis, you're doing very well. We'll see you next year. But instead, she kept finding things she needed to test and send me for extra stuff and scans and ultrasounds. And I, I'm like, that's not what I'm here for. Okay, that is what I'm here for. I'm here for you to find what's wrong with me. Which leads right into Psalm 22, I mean Psalm 26, verses 2 and 3, where it says, Test me, Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. Test me, Lord, try me. Look me over. Give me the exam. But let me tell you something. My reason for that is different than the psalmist's reason. Listen to what, what David says. It says, For I have always been mindful of your unfailing love and have lived in reliance on your faithfulness. See, I do need the regular exam, but not to tell me how wonderful I'm doing. It's not, that's how David seemed to have lived his life. It doesn't seem to be how I've lived my life. My life has not been one string of reliance on God's faithfulness after another. My life has been a bunch of potholes and wrong turns and screw-ups. But that's okay. That's why I'm coming to God. God, look me over, check me out, and give me the prescriptions that'll move me in the right direction so I will have a life of faithfulness and trust. Because that's the goal. The goal isn't for me to be perfect. The goal is for me to become the person he designed me to be. And the only way that can happen is if he tests me, tries me, examines my heart and my mind, looks me over very carefully, shows me the places where I've not been faithful, where I'm not relying on his faithfulness, and then moves me in the right direction. So the next time I come in for a physical, I'll get a clean bill of health. And that's today's jumpstart.